okay, y'all need to get on this real quick because the streets are now saying that Diddy's freak offs have been going on for a long time because he allegedly tried to force Tupac into a freak off back in the 90s. But it gets worse because Diddy's bodyguard just came out to reveal that Diddy has always had a creepy obsession with Tupac to the point where he has allegedly been going after Tupac's exes. Child, when I say that the stories that are coming out about Diddy are absolutely nuts, y'all better believe me. And no, I'm not talking about the allegations and the lawsuits that currently have him fighting for his life. I'm talking about the other messy things that have also come out about him, like the fact that he used to have an insane obsession with Tupac when he was still alive. In the past couple of months, there have been a lot of conversation surrounding Diddy and Tupac because he has been kind of linked to Tupac's death. The man who recently got arrested on charges related to Tupac's death, Keefe D, all but exposed Diddy for allegedly putting a hit on Tupac. At the time, we thought that the reason Diddy had allegedly put the hit out on Tupac was because of the whole Death Row Records versus Bad Boy Records beat. Plus, on the night that Tupac was killed, he and members of his entourage had jumped Keefe D's nephew, Baby Lane, for stealing a chain from someone on Tupac's team on Diddy's orders. There were also rumors about how Tupac was about to expose Diddy for being gay and on the DL, and it would have ruined Diddy's image if Tupac had done this. And this is why there have been allegations why Diddy allegedly put a $1 million hit on Tupac's head. And this isn't even a rumor because Keefe D also confirmed that Diddy did, in fact, pay out the money after Tupac passed, but he never got the money because someone got jealous and ran off with the money. Well, the story that has circulated was that after Tupac got killed, Puffy allegedly gave the money I heard to to Zip. Yes. And Zip was supposed to give the money to to Keefe and that. Yes. But he never gave the money to. But him. thank God he never gave him the money, right? Think about it. If he gave the money, Puffy will be in prison now, money for hire. A hire. So thank God if, if, if this is a true story, I I'm not saying yes or no, but if he would have gave him them the money, it'd have been a for hire and Puffy would be locked up. Keefe even revealed that the FBI was able to trace the money, confirming that Diddy paid it out, but it didn't get to Keefe. The FBI said it was just Zip. So the FBI told you the same thing. So the FBI told you the Zip kept that money as well. They said Zip's the dirty mother. Everybody cross you. But wait, because according to Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, there is a lot more to the story than we know, because Diddy had a wild obsession with Tupac at the time. According to Gene, Diddy and Tupac were on great terms and they were even friends. But then they had a really bad fight and fell out and nobody knew the reason. And Pac was cool at one time. We know this. Mo Prime said that they was going to sign the bad boy. Those was the real bad boys of bad boy. You understand? Those are the one who got the 16, 9, 16 of life sentences. That Pac was going to go and be with them first. But then Mo Prem said when it became just big and puff because Corey then went to jail, he changed his direction. But nobody know why Pac and Puff fell out like they did. So things were so cool between them that Tupac was even going to sign to Bad Boy Records before things suddenly went left and they fell out and they started beefing hard with each other. While allegedly given Diddy's history with upcoming rappers, People believe that he asked Pac to hook up with him, but since Pac turned him down, Diddy developed this hatred against him. But Gene didn't stop there because he revealed that after Diddy and Tupac fell out, Diddy developed this insane obsession with Tupac and would copy Tupac in everything Tupac did. For example, when Tupac started wearing Versace shirts, Diddy suddenly decided to start wearing Versace too. Tupac also hinted at this in his song, Versace, where he said, now it's all about Versace, you copied my style. Five shots couldn't drop me, I took it and smiled. Now I'm about to set the record straight. But it quickly got creepier than that because Diddy soon made it to a point to start going after the women that Tupac had been with. But Puff had an obsession with him for whatever reason it was, because he started wanting to act. He started wanting to rap. He had an obsession so bad. <laughs> that at his Grammy Award winning speech, he used the same speech that Pac used. 
that's crazy. Podcast Sarah before Puff. Allegedly, he had Sally before Puff. And Kim had an obsession or liked Pac so much, she on a red carpet with Tupac shirt on. Who's obsessed with who? <laughs> so you believe Diddy, he only got with Sarah Chapman because Pac, he had her at one point. And it was a bet in the office. Uh, that's just different shades of messed up. Cause girl, what? What makes this even creepier is the fact that Kim Porter and Sarah Chapman were very good friends. And he ended up cheating on Kim with Sarah just because Sarah and Tupac had a short relationship back in the day. The obsession is real y'all. And I guess this explains why Diddy had baby Lane steal a chain from someone in Tupac's camp. Child, Diddy been out here wildin' for the longest time. And y'all remember how the streets were saying that Tupac was going to expose Diddy for being gay in one of his upcoming songs? Now, I don't know about y'all, but I've always wondered how Tupac knew about this, considering that people hadn't clocked the T back then. I mean, everyone now has heard about the rumors of Diddy being on the DL, but back then, nobody suspected. So how did Tupac find out? Well, Diddy allegedly tried to force Tupac into a freak off back when they were cool. At the time, Diddy had already allegedly been in a master-slave intimate relationship with Andre Harrell and Clive Davis, so he knew all about hooking up with men in the industry. He allegedly tried to force and pressure Tupac into a freak-off, but Pac was not about that lifestyle, and I guess this is probably the reason they had that major falling out and started beefing. And the thing is, Diddy couldn't let Pop out him because he would end up outing other men in the industry and that would have been really chaotic. So according to Gene, when Diddy couldn't get into Pac's bed, he started going after Pac's exes. I don't know the psychology behind this, but he was probably using the women as a replacement for Pac or something like that, which is just wild. Fans aren't exactly shocked about this, knowing what we know now about Diddy and they left comments saying, Tupac saying and hit him up, now it's all about Versace, you copy my style, was all that needed to be said about Puffy's obsession with Pop. I really think Puffy wanted him sex and Pop didn't get down like that. Diddy's behavior toward women, paraphilia, freak off, and obsession with Tupac is very disturbing. Diddy get you some professional help. And I wouldn't be surprised if Puff was secretly in love with Pop, but knew he couldn't have him, so set him up to kill him. Puff wasn't just jealous of his career and talent, he was also jealous of his looks too. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Do you think that Diddy's obsession with Tupac was what led to him allegedly putting a hit out on Tupac? Drop your thoughts in the comments, then check out this next video.